Okay, what I'm going to show you uh, is for all the people that don't think this is possible or think it is possible to take the chain off. This is a 2002 RFS 520 motor. Um, now, I've had a few people say to me that why don't because the timing was out. Why don't you just lift the chain off and rotate the top sprocket? This is not possible. <laughs> Trust me, I've tried. The chain has to be broken uh, and re-riveted any time you want to take the top cam out because there is no movement. At this moment in time, the engine is locked in place and she is set at top dead. Uh, as you notice, the cam chain tensioner has been removed and the chain is as slack as it will ever be. I have got to be careful because I haven't got a new link and that one holding the chain in at the moment is just the old one I've cut off and I've just reversed it. So I'll quickly show you how much movement is actually in this chain. Sorry if the camera's a bit wobbly. You can see from the chain, remember, oh, there is no tension on this chain. As you can see, that is all you can move the chain, literally. This is a brand new chain by the way, this was fitted yesterday but I got the timing slightly wrong so I've had to redo it. And that is the entire amount of movement you get with the chain, you, know, you can see better from that one. That one there, that is it. Now, some people may think you can just lift the cam out and actually rotate it underneath the chain. As you can see, this is not possible. The cam lobes on the inside with the bearing on won't go down far enough, so it won't rotate that way. And on the front, even with, uh, even with taking this impeller off for the water pump and the aluminium housing that um, is in between, the other bearing sits on the inside there, and that will not allow you to rotate it either. You can't lift it enough to turn it. Uh, I did think of actually unbolting the sprocket, um, I'm rotating it to do it, but again, as you may be able to see, there is no room to take that sprocket off. The sprocket will go forward and drop down very, very slightly, but I still really wouldn't want to do that for two reasons. One, as you can possibly see, where's my finger? As you can possibly see there, um, that's the auto decompressor lever which sits up against the back of the bearing. And on the inside, you can see the other half of the decompressor lever, which is there. Uh, that wouldn't, that just won't give you enough, it won't come off. So this is, <clears throat> for all the people that don't, again, for all the people that don't believe me, this is, you must break the chain to take it off. I hope that helps. Cheers.